We last saw Black Manta being rescued by Dr. Shin, played by Randall Park. Um, and since then, they've been creating a crew. You know, Black Manta still has this mission of finding Aquaman, destroying Aquaman. He still has the hate, the passion, and, and the rage, but he needs more help. So uh, he spent a lot of time, a lot of resources, building building together and putting together a badass crew uh, consisting of uh, Dr. Shin. He's got someone new named Stingray and a whole army of uh, new cats. And uh, he's traveling all over the globe in order to find more Atlantean technology because he has to rebuild his suit. So that's been Black Manta's mission uh, since the last time he saw him. He hasn't stopped. I imagine that he hasn't rested. And uh, the movie picks up in Antarctica. In this film, you know, because Black Manta has the trident, um, he also has, um, he he has the strength and power just by holding on to the trident. So, and our and so with our new suit, we didn't need as many gadgets and like gizmos and gadgets and shields and things like that, um, uh, because Black Manta is along with the trident is what makes the suit powerful. So, uh, we went, you, you know, with a with a very classic design uh, that's basically this the the black silhouette the black wetsuit with the big silver helmet um, and it's very very retro you know if, if you, you you know you you look at some of the gadgets and some of the vehicles everything is old everything is 3,000 years old and so we imagine that you know what would the suit look like if the suit was also influenced by you know some of the older uh, technology or some of the older versions of, of black manta um, and uh, and that's what and that's what we have this very sleek, soft, muscle, wetsuit um, that, that's uh, easy to move in. And, and you know, it, the suit won't be destroyed because it's, it's, it's the man inside of the suit. Uh, uh, so it just makes it, for, I think, for, you know, for a better fight and uh, a more sleek design. I think Black Manta has some of, the, some of the best, like, gadgets and vehicles, you know, in the film. And this one, I get to drive something called the Octobot, which is, you know, the, the cool thing about this is a lot of the designs of, 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 of our machinery is based on, um, it's based on real aquatic sea life, you know, uh, and this one is based on um, an octopus. You know, it's this round, uh, this, this round tank, that uh, it's this round tank that Black Manta gets to get in and he has his his levers and his control and it's all old, right? It's all like technology that's been 3,000 years old, but it's been repurposed. And so he's sort of just scavenging and taking, taking what he has and just taking his determination and his will and his smarts and repurposing things to fit this new world. So it's all ancient technology, um, but it's really, really cool because it's it sort of, you know, gives it this retro feel, whereas Atlantis, the Atlantis that we know, everything is new and shiny and the technology is years, years advanced. Um, but our technology is 3,000 years old. It's still pretty advanced. Um, but it's all rinky dink and it's like slapped together and put together by, you know, piecemeal. Um, but it just fits the, the ancient aesthetic of going back and taking something through from 3000 years ago, repurposing it for today. Um, and then using it for, you know, using it for your mission. This is the type of film that should absolutely be viewed in the theater. I mean, with the worlds and the technology and the scale, the colors, the sound, there's just so many elements that are fit to be seen um, on as big a screen as possible, you know, um, with the, you know, the fights, the explosion, the story, you know, everything about this world is just heightened, um, heightened in scale. And I, so I think the best way to see that is on the biggest screen possible. Um, and I can't wait to see it myself.